Hey, what's up everybody? This is Shawnee Baby with LadiesBehindTheBeat.tv and I'm hanging out with Marina Bambino, an extraordinary percussionist and we're really happy to have her here with us today. How are you, Marina? I'm fine. I'm good. So you just got off the road with Macy Gray. Tell us about that. Uh, we were out for three weeks and we did a lot of Eastern European countries mm -hmm. and uh, I found it kind of interesting because a lot of these people in Bulgaria mm -hmm. and Hungary and uh, Romania didn't speak English, but uh, when we did the concerts, they knew all the English words to all of her songs, right. which I was like, hey, man, they don't speak English, but they know all the words to the songs, right. which I thought was kind of kind of cool, you know. Yeah, that's funny how that works out. Yeah. So um, you've been playing with Macy Gray for a long time, yeah. a number of years now, which is great, you know. Mm -hmm. And you've also worked with the Isley Brothers, and who are some of the other amazing artists you've worked with? Johnny Guitar Watson was mm -hmm. one of my first tours. Wow. That was the very first time I toured, and I actually went to Europe for a month. We did all the little villages in Europe. Mm -hmm. That was cool. He was a very talented cat. I didn't realize that he played piano as well, jazz piano yeah. as well as he played guitar. So that was wow. that was my first experience. Thank. You. Now, are you from Los Angeles? No, or? I'm originally from Harlem, East Harlem, New York. So you moved here to, you know, play music, I guess. Actually, right? I didn't. I I came here in 1974. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And I did a, a lot of other things. I didn't start playing until I was 33. Wow, percussion. Right. You're Period. so amazing. Thank wow. You. So. That's incredible. How supportive was your family at that time? Well, I moved out here from New York. Mm -hmm. Most of my family is, is gone. And uh, I was a single parent. Mm -hmm. I was raising a daughter. So I have to God bless. You know, I've been blessed in many ways. I had a lot of good friends, mm -hmm. really oh, good friends, great. that were from out here, that were born and raised out here, that helped me out, that supported me. Oh, that's and, good. you know, understood what I was trying to do mm -hmm. and really helped me out. They took care of my daughter when I was gone, you know, quite a bit and when she was about 11, 12 years mm -hmm. old, you know, because that's kind of when I started going. Yeah. What inspired you to play? I think as a, a, even as a kid, I always liked bongos and congas. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in New York in the summertime, it was really hot. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd raise the windows up and you'd hear the cats out wow. playing dominoes and playing congas in the mm -hmm. park across the street. So, yeah. I, I, you know, I think it's in my blood. But I never thought it was something I could do until I came out here. Wow. So. And you do it very well. Oh, thanks. Like, what is some of the wackiest, or what is your most memorable moment from touring? Not necessarily with her, but just touring, period. Um, I had a real crazy moment. When I was with the Isleys, I had just really started playing, so I was really, really nervous. Mm -hmm. And I remember I had I had this Roland SPD pad that mm -hmm. had electronic sounds in it. And one night, Ronald was singing the ballad. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, he's smooth, you know, he's out there singing. And I hit the wrong patch, mm -hmm. and it was thunder, and it was on the highest volume. Oh so all God. of a sudden you hear, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, this is it. <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't have a gig anymore. And he just laughed. I mean, he laughed into the microphone. He thought it was funny, and I thought, okay, cool. I'm getting my bills paid next month. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was that was a highlight. That was a funny time that I never forgot because I was I was just like so nervous then. You know, I didn't have a lot of I'm experience, sure, yeah. and I'm like. One thing that I want to talk about is something that's really dear and near to me because when I moved here, you were playing with the Isley Brothers. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember seeing you and just being so touched, not by just your ability, but oh my gosh, she's like a beautiful woman, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just felt like when I was coming up and playing drums, people made me feel bad because I was, you know, girly and a drummer. It's like you're not supposed to play drums. Mm -hmm. But what are some of the experiences that you've had as a beautiful woman and a percussionist and being the only female in the band? Obviously, there are female singers, but I'm sure you've come across, obviously, people flirting with you and, you know, all of those. Yeah, things. I think sometimes what happens is that you're not taken as serious, mm -hmm. you know. Everybody's looking at your, you know, package mm -hmm. and they're looking at your <laughs> face or, you know, what's going on and they're yeah. not taking you as serious as, as a musician, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of frustrating, you know. Um, so I think it's back then anyway, because now there seems to be more women mm -hmm. musicians, Yeah, but I think great. you have, you know, you have more to prove, you know yeah. what I mean? Because you still want to yeah, be feminine, absolutely. you still want to look good while you're playing your instrument, 
you know, but you want to be noted because you you play an instrument well, right. you know, that you've really put, you applied yourself to something and it's, and you're successful at it, not because, you know, you got a big right. boobs or a big booty, you know, yeah. or a beautiful that's face, true. you know, so, so I think that those, that's one of, the, one of the things that I've encountered, of course, you know, I mean, I always kind of kept a bag over my head. So <laughs> <laughs> I was the unknown percussionist. That's <laughs> 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 Good idea. I might do that. <laughs> How many instruments do you play outside of percussion? I don't. Do you you know what? I, I basically play play percussion: congas and bongos, tims, timbales, yeah. and, and I, I mess with keyboards and a little bit of drums. But I haven't done that professionally. I just basically play percussion professionally, and I sing back on vocals. Yeah, I was about to say you yeah. are an amazing singer. We were. I was in rehearsal one day, mm -hmm. and I did this high note. And, I like that. Do that. That do that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, baby, do that. You know. So I was like, okay. So she kept it, and that's how she operates. You yeah. Know? We never had a musical director on this gig up until quite a few years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, so everything was spontaneous. If mm -hmm. she just picked things out, you know, people mm -hmm. did things that were crazy, and she liked them, and she just kept them in the, sh you know, she kept yeah. them in the, in the show. How important is that to you um, that kids have music in schools? Oh, I think it's vitally important. You know, I think music transcends more than most of the arts, like mm -hmm. acting, and I, I don't minimize acting or anything like that, but there's something very spiritual about, spiritual about music because sometimes it's, it's notes and people get together and they're just everything is on a, a level of feeling that other person, what they're playing. You yeah. know? So I think for kids it's a, it's a great outlet. I think it's a spiritual outlet. I think it's very healing. Mm -hmm. I think it ex, ex, exposes them to a lot of different areas of life, yeah. you know, and I mean it's a universal language and I think we probably have maybe less wars and games yeah. and things like that. If, I agree. I mean, the arts in school is you definitely start the necessary. Yeah, you know, start the kids early, start yeah. them real early. You know. Now what advice would you give to some of our listeners, you know, the young teenage girls and even younger? Um, what advice or what, yeah, recommendation would you give to those who are aspiring to be drummers and or percussion? I would just tell them that passion is, is the key in life. Mm -hmm. I think it gets you through life and above. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as someone, a woman who started as a woman, I didn't start in high schools mm -hmm. and grammar school the way a lot of kids, some kids do, mm -hmm. or used to do back in, when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I would tell them that to go for it and to just keep doing what they do. Don't give up. Just keep doing what you do because eventually something's going to break for you. And if it's your passion and it makes your heart beat, then go for it. Thanks, Marina Bambino, for being with us today. And I wish you all the best. And I look forward to seeing you soon.